Yo. I got us doing this fine evening. Oh man. I had to find this in the Warhammer 40k section. Because it wasn't in the Age of Sigmar news section. I don't know if they got trogs in 40k or not. But... Warhammer Community website. Big, 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 body. Warhammer Community website continues to be spot on. Arterius, thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. Um. Oh, damn, look at that. A solid gold cheer. A solid gold cheer badge. Nice. Anyway, Hungry Panda was first. Thanks for the large. I appreciate it. And the first chat. It was going to be at six as is the usual, but um, I was outside of the house, sadly. Far too much of that recently. My normal hermit-style decorum has been interrupted with frequent visits to the outside world to my great chagrin. But hopefully that's winding down after this weekend. We shall see. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Uh, Shader Room and Frank on the Rocks. Yo, Frank on the Rocks. I typed that in Discord just for you. Uh, the CPT qualifier. Fucking Snake Eyes. That's a name I've not heard in a long time. Can't do these. Can't do this to these kids. Snake Eyes is out of control. You can't. Can't be doing that to these kids. This ain't. Street Fighter 4 anymore. Stop it. <laughs> then again, respect your elders. And, um... Maybe it's a little bit of a testament to the balancing of new games. Uh, in ages past, the worst character in a fighting game could very well be, like, unplayable. Nowadays, the worst character in a tier list for a fighting game. You have to be the best in the entire world, and, and then you can still win. Kind of like Age of Sigmar, as a matter of fact. The worst armies in Age of Sigmar, the worst four, they've gone 5-0, and they've gone 4-1, and they've collected trophies. Not a lot of them, but possible. Such a thing was not possible in first edition, but time marches on. Working on Giet's and listening to Heiwo, today's a good day. Steinwan, thanks for showing up. I didn't know how, mon how many people might. I've had to cancel a lot of streams recently, but rest assured, it was worse for me than it was for you. I had to go outside. Disgusting. Ugh. Mm -mm. Anyway, um... Also, I was going to watch these live for my... You know how we do it, right? Okay. Games Workshop has a big reveal trailer with AOS stuff in it and some other stuff. We all watch it at the same time on Twitch. It's kind of a community thing. A little watch party. Everybody, everybody claps when they say loads, you know, and all that shit's funny. Um, but this time, I couldn't do it because I had to go outside. Absolutely disgusting. But I'm here now to Twitch act like I haven't seen them on our Discord. And so here we are. Rev up that React Andy engine. Pog face thumbnail. Need the fucking soy jack, you know? Oh my god, give it a, give it some Rich Evans. A-list celebrity Rich Evans. Rest in peace. Good for I thought that kid had a bright future. Until he died from adult onset childhood obesity. It's just a crying shame. But, you know, the brightest flames burn out the fastest. Do you mean Dick the birthday boy? The very same. I do. Anyway, um, I just did not react at all to this thing. And so I apologize for that. This dude looks sweet. Huge. Um, showing a little bit of that 
a little bit of that uh, that British G-string kind of thing going on there. Um, supposedly this guy is big. Supposedly this guy is, is large. He's... I'm just saying what I heard. He's He might be on the pie plate. He might be on that, that 120 pie plate. Like, big. Um, I love the call out to the 6,000 year old, actually quite a bit more than that. The cave, those famous cave paintings, I can't remember what they're called anymore. It's been too long, but what a wonderful, fun little creative call out for that. In the bread box there. Nice, cool antlers, as you have come to expect um, from Gloomspite Gits. Details and little tiny shit everywhere. Uh, to paint, which, if you are the type of person who just wants to put paint on models so that you can play, you will not like that. If you are the kind of person who buys a model because it looks like it's fun to paint, please enjoy. It's what you have come to expect from the new Gloomspite Git stuff. Um, looks like a good old time. And this guy's like, kind of gross. He's got a a stargate on his back. Look at all the details, skulls and stuff, little friends everywhere. This shit actually looks so sick. Also, by all accounts, he's big, which is icing on the cake. Yeah, probably hella options. Also, a Symphony of Steel thanks to the primer. For 15 months, there was at least a single eyebrow raise. All right. Yeah, thanks a lot. We need over the top reactions. Red arrow with circle, yeah. Like those like those horror YouTubes. Did you see it? Could it be <laughs> a voice from beyond the grave? Could it be a voice from beyond the grave? Or just a normal Traga? You decide. But I'm assuming it's true. And not a trick of video editing. Femunk, thanks for the hundred. Uh, that's actually part of your name. Thanks for the one sub. To Dinma. Get sniped, idiot. Anyway, thanks a lot. Space Marines in Age of Sigmar. Well, it's 40k. This is the page it's on. Yeah, it looks sick. Look at this dude. Oh, the skeletons and shit. So. So this guy was what? Like sleeping under the ground? And for 10,000 years, people built shit on top of him, and then he... Beneath the sands of Ankaraj, an ancient evil awakens or something like that, and he's got a little buddy on his on his horns. Dude, this is so sick. A giant... Um, oh, what type of shell is that? I can never remember what the names are of those, but that's cool. And extra little cave paintings. This is sick. He is... Like, cartoonishly ugly, obviously, but that's, like, the entire theme of Trogoth, so we're fine with it. Conch? How do you pronounce that? Is it really conch? Do you go for an O? Is it is it conch? Is it a silent N? Is it just cock? It's conch. Some people say cock. Conch. Yepcock. Alright, I'm giving it a yepcock. This feels more ogre than gets to you. I hope it doesn't feel ogre to you. Otherwise, it's all ogre. Um, there are some ogres, though, I heard about. Arguably tied for our fifth worst sculpt. Just got a fresh coat of paint. As it were. And so we're going to look at those ones next. It's Helegius. True. Um, Penny Dude 300 thinks of the tier 1. 20 months, 9 month streak. Trug will probably be a Golden Demon winner. Oh, for sure. Yeah, this is. You know, sometimes they make stuff and it looks cool, and sometimes they make stuff for the painters. They're like, go get it. Please enjoy. Mm. Anyway, this shit's sweet. And you know what? Jesus. <laughs> On a Thursday afternoon, the sun is still out. Uh, anyway, good work. This guy's fucking mad. 
a little buddy here with his little mushrooms and he's carrying a, a bird skull that he found a little up arrow did you see it man this thing is cool oh and he's right on the cover oh because yeah the dong bringers yeah he's on the cover reign of the brute nice you're happy the gets get some big old monsters? Yeah, true, because too long, Gloomspite gets... Well, okay, for the longest time, Gloomspite gets were playing with Kragnos, because they had to. And then they got a book with real rules that were too good. And then they increased the price on everything in the gets book something like four times, and now they're perfectly balanced. But wouldn't it be nice to have a monster of your very own... Not like a double meatball, kind of okay if you give him something, but doesn't really do the best damage kind of guy. But like a big old fucking barn monster. And, uh, prayers have been answered. I'm kind of excited for Gets players. Reign of the butts, reign of the glutes. That's a good one. Your headcanon is that he was taking an extended nap and some... Elf nerd built the realm gate right on top of him. Yeah. You like that he is so top heavy, he has to walk like a gorilla. Yeah, Gloomspite gets really feels like the army that the sculptors are allowed to get the most cartoonish. Right? Like little little stubby legs, really long arms, huge hands, big old noses, fairy tale stuff going on. Just uh cartoony feeling in a in a horrific way if you think about it for a moment and i think that's a fine outlet for them uh just keep my ogres out of it just do the good ones for those please but i think this is cool we you know the game should have an army like this the article gives some backstory i'll read it i'm not above reading have you ever fallen into such a deep and consuming sleep that an entire kingdom collapsed around you and an altar of arcane power was embedded onto your back purely by accident? Turns out, that's what happened to Trug. The Trogoth King, one of the largest and most irate Trogoths the mortal realms have ever seen. But now he's awake and he's smashing stuff up like none before him, stirred into a state of semi-consciousness by Alariel's right of life. Right to life. <laughs> By Ilario's right to life. Trug was finally roused by the rambunctious caterwauling and clanging of the rabble rouser braggot Big Taka. The arcane engine on his back sprung into action as he tried to dislodge it by smashing against the cave roof. And since then, he's been affected by the mother of all magical migraines. Oh, the poor guy. I sympathize. The altar's magical powers are actually subtly influencing him, and he's being drawn inexorably along the magical ley lines that underpin the mortal realms. Though, to what end, no one knows. Trug is only concerned with stopping his awful headaches, smashing anything magical that he finds along the way. Following this ornery behemoth are a huge horde of Trogoths, Fellwater, Rockgut, Dankhold. He is only dimly aware of the hothering hordes that trail behind him, but Braggot has elevated this living wrecking ball to the status of a king. With his tails. You can find out all about Trug, uh, the Trogoth King, and his rampage of the Mortal Realms in the next installment of the ongoing Age of Sigmar campaign series. Dawnbringers, Book 2, Reign of the Galute. Nice. Any info? Continues the story of the twin-tailed crusade as they wind their way forth through Aksha and Gairan. He is Gork's eepiest warrior, yeah. Both are beset by brutish challenges in the form of Trug and his entourage, a great stomp led by King Broad. Oh shit. Call out my boy, nice. And Awa, spearheaded by pugnacious greenskins, seen riding with wild hogs. I've, I've seen them. Put some pants on, alright? Of prodigious girth. Jesus Christ. 
book will also contain all the rules you need to support these three particular factions and match play armies of renown blah 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 no ogres okay reign of the brute this is like the mega mind me no ogres that being said um mega gargants this will be a welcome addition to whatever they're doing and same thing with the um with the hog layers Does his runes have a Seraphon style to it? I don't think so. I mean, it kind of does, right? Because the the style of a stone Stargate is kind of like the style of Mesoamerican, uh, you know, Aztec and Inca stuff that Seraphon, that I don't think it's an intentional reference, if, if that makes any sense. Uh, I didn't mean to trail off like that. Those ruins are the symbols of the realms. Okay, yeah. Hey, whoa, I would highly recommend watching the part of the VOD this came from. No ogres moment is very funny. Do you mean this video or... This video. Now we've opened preview of the Gorgia Maw Pack. Prepare to make a meal out of the Wilder Corpse. Or core, if you will. All is not well in Narroot. I don't know why I said Narroot. The word is Narwood. Um, despite supping on the flesh of thousands of doomed combatants, drawn to the secrets it hides, the wood still hungers. Terrible earthquakes rend the land and bring new treasures to the surface as this deadly forest reforms over and over. Now the broken earth yawns open to reveal giant maw pits, eager to swallow all comers <laughs> into their grinding chthonic gullets. These terrifying phenomena have drawn two new factions into the Narwood, each seeking different ends. Who is truly the hunter? And whomst? will be the hunted. <laughs> the law road is hungry for battle. The best trackers? Damn. Time to see it. noble stature on that dude in the back you know rules of nature okay i saw a picture of this in discord right but when i saw this i'm like oh cool they decided to make new crypt horrors for flesh eater courts and they look pretty cool these are cool looking crypt horrors and then i like read into it and i'm like oh they're gorgers for ogres man Flesh Eater Quartz, can you ever pick a W? Can you ever get handed one? Also, any finger counters in the chat? Um, AI or inbred? You decide. That was like an ogre, that was a stock, that was a stock orc sound effect from like Warcraft 2. I don't know if anybody has seen this movie, but I'm getting, I'm getting some bone tomahawk vibes from, from these dudes. If you haven't seen the movie, I would, first of all, I would recommend it. It's very good, very well written. Secondly, it is not for kids. <laughs> It is, I don't take this lightly, because usually I think kids can handle stuff. It's not for children. Anyway, um, 
Imagine if these were yetis. I know. Hey, this means that they haven't forgotten about us. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, be emotionally stable before viewing. <laughs> only movie to ever make you cringe. It's got one of the most affecting horror scenes I think I've ever seen. I have a film degree. Uh, but I don't want to give anything away because uh, if you're going to watch a good movie, you should know absolutely nothing about it so that you're like in the moment and paying attention the whole time. Also, what do I see here? A maw pit? A sarlacc pit? Could it be that we have two terrain features in Ogres? Imagine having two terrain features in your army. In your army of two factions. And neither of those terrain features are for your half of the army. <laughs> Still, this one could be cool. I don't even know if this is a terrain feature. It could just be a cool thing. Who knows? But I guess... Uh, copium. Copium, it's another terrain feature. And this one does something for Beast Claw Half. That'd be cool. It has its own box. Oh, word, it does. The boy. Okay, so we just, we have like murder psycho. We have murder psycho ogres. As per the gorger lore from mostly Warhammer Fantasy, but a little bit, a little bit and slightly changed uh, for AOS. But yeah, they're like, they're ogres except no... No gut. No gut plate. They're actually fucking crazy. They're just insane. With hunger. And they look like it. Nice pose here. Nice uh, all six fingers splayed out. Still has the chains on it because they're really used kind of like dogs. Like junkyard dogs or something like that. Prison yard dogs. Except ogres. A lot of them are blinded, that's interesting, I wonder why. Look at that super long straight forearm. When your forearm is twice as long. Alright, this dude is seeing it. Oh, I like the guy with the big stab, that's a good big slabber. So they're able to use weapons, at least. This is the come on and jam redux, yeah, um... This guy right here. Do you remember... Some of you probably remember it, uh, when I did the video and I had Gorgers in there, and as per tradition, you Photoshop a basketball. Well, they remembered that little tidbit, and so we still have a Gorger who is primed and ready to get a basketball in his hand, which is a good callback. Just a good callback. I bet these guys will have Deep Strike, and I bet I'll have to play them. Um, and look, they, they look fine. There's nothing wrong with how they look. Um, if I was a gut buster player, I would probably be really happy about that. Hopefully their rules are good too. Six toes as well, some of them, and in strange places, but yeah. Loose skin. Slaughter brood pose. Gorgers were definitely on your list of sadly executed concepts um, that had zero business existing and were going to be jettisoned into the sun. The concept doesn't make sense. Being super hungry doesn't make you super fit and magically make your body morph into something else. It's a shit concept. Look, I'm not going to make fun of gutbusters or talk down about their lore or anything like that. But... I did think it was dumb. But then again, I think a lot of the Gutbuster stuff is dumb, which is why I didn't choose to play Gutbusters. Somebody gotta like it, right? Plus, Gorgers were tied for the fifth worst sculpt, a five-way tie, in Ogre Maw Tribes. And if they're gonna give us cool-looking new sculpts of old, really shitty, fine-cast ones that we were wondering if they were gonna retire completely, then good. Switch hats, sure. We'll go big. Any hint of rules? 
and then we have the most generic, boring version of pretty interesting theme of Free Guild. Like, the new Cities of Sigmar guys are all, like, cool-looking and have a neat style to them. And so I call them boring only, relatively speaking. Look at this noble stature. <laughs> but the dude trying to give him facial expressions and stuff, quite nice. Some, some fucking dogs. Peak human physique, yeah, you might not like it, but this is peak human physique. Samwise of the Shire looking ass, yeah, except like six foot tall. Potate omen rise up. Hunter and Hunted also comes with a brand new piece of terrain, a troublingly toothsome mop here, complete with a bone pulpit built over its fanged rim by worshipful ogres worshipful ogres hey <laughs> any hopium in the chat gutbusters are the spell casters and beast call raiders are the priests so maybe just maybe these peristaltic potholes jesus christ must constantly eat or else return to stone dirt and so consume anything that ventures near them Screeching and howling the moment they finish their meal. Also, it comes with gorgers, and gorgers are definitely gut busters and not beast claws, so more copium, I guess. Anyway, thing looks neat. It's a sarlacc pit. So it also comes with war band tome hunter and hunted, which is stuffed to bursting. With background information and illustrations. Oh, pretty good illustration. Still somehow hungry for more? Yes, I am. Check out the preview. I will. Pause. Um, Space Marines. Clicked on that one already. There we go. Fucking Oryx. Iron Jowls. <laughs> the intern busted out the thesaurus. Good, we like big words here. I'm, I'm all about words of the day. They did say the mop pit is an alternative mop pot. Oh, okay, alright, so it's just a straight up alternative. Got it. Alright, that's fine. That's probably the best that I could have hoped for. The ground trembles with war. War Sig, Age of Hammer Hammer. Yo, cool looking molten glaive there. Big old pound hammer. Half his face is metal, that's cool. I actually like this is actually kind of charming, okay? He's got them... He's got those big, like... You know those things you lay down so you can kneel on them when you're painting? It kind of looks like that for shin guards. And it goes up extra high. I like the chain here on the shoulders, and I like the, the big old leather smock for Tulin. This guy is cool. And then the wrapped hand so that he can hold on to without burning himself. That's some good attention to detail. Oh, Anvil Boy. Alright, Anvil Friend. Sporting that smug Duff City flat top. Big grin. The biggest, baddest, all rod. Oh, there's the pig. There's the fucking pig. Nice porcine screaming face here. Damn, that looks sick. Iron Jaws are eating good tonight. This stuff looks great. Look at that thick hog. Cool helmet, actually. Oh, shirt? No, sir. 
server. Whoa! Time for a proper scrap, lads. Squig has classic anime biker hairstyle. Nezermore, exactly true, yeah. For sure. He's got that red line, that um, space dandy. The fucking you talking shit about my waifu meme guy from like 20 years ago. Absolutely classic. The loudmouth asshole dude from basically every anime ever, episode 2. Yeah, the Pompadour. <laughs> Yosuke. Hey, I don't know if it's Yosuke. Anyway, this guy's cool. I have one complaint, and I know no one cares, but... Push up my glasses here. Um, According to the lore, they punch their armor into plates. They don't hammer it. I mean, maybe this guy is special. He's a fucking genius, and so he invented the idea of using tools. But they still mostly punch their stuff into plates. So we, maybe we could split the difference. In Baki, he's a Chad. You were thinking of Kuwabara. Also Jojo. He doesn't make armor. He smashes weapons. Okay. You know, Crypt Shadow might be the best type of correct here, which is technically correct. This dude makes weapons. And in their lore, they punch armor into plates. They don't punch weapons into plates. So maybe we can reach across the aisle and come to a compromise here. Maybe everything's fine. That is a good point. I didn't think of that one. The hammer is a status symbol. He doesn't actually use it. That could also be the case. Pretty sure only brutes punch their armor. Oh, maybe Ard boys don't. Okay, we got we got two different avenues for this to technically still be correct. Oh, dude, he's got the tongs, the dragon tongs. Yo, let me get one of those sausages over there. There we go. A legendary Iron Jaws Smith, and by the looks of him, an Iron Jaw Smith. Two. Yeah. Um, Zog Rock Anvil Smash uh, taps into the maelstrom of raw anarchic energy that courses through the Wa to imbue nearby orc weapons with sheer fighting power armed with this energy. A brute can easily rattle the brains of a mighty dragonith or towering mega gargant with a single thunderous blow. Um, yet more bonus damage? I hope so. You know, nice hunch. Also went went really quick on painting these flames here, but that's fine. Everything else looks quite nice. He taps to give creatures menace. There you go. The pig tongs. He's accompanied by Clonk, a cantankerous rock brow squig, and ambulatory anvil whose permanent headache can only be temporarily relieved by percussive blows to the skull. More headaches in the destruction line. It's clonking time. Zogrok is happy to oblige as he hammers power into his own ward-smashing choppa, which he uses to shatter his enemy's most powerful arcane projections. Okay, more ward hate. Everybody hates wards. Um, unless they have the ward, then they love wards. And so we're, we're cutting through more wards. There's now three or four things in the game that do that. It's these dudes, some bone splitter, ghost faced killers, I think. Um, Sigvald slices through wards like a hot knife through butter. Probably one or two others that I can think of. He can also be equipped with a pair of uh, Grunta Tongs, which he uses to further imbue the power of the Wa into the weapons of nearby orcs. That's the one you'll choose. Just want to point that out. Yes, this thing goes through wards, but first of all, that's not very good. 
you you think it is, but it's not. And the tongs are the ones that give the buff. And so you take the one that gives the buff. And if you don't think the tongs look cool, then you do this and say the rules are... You're using the rules of the tongs and everyone's happy. But cutting through wards is actually a fairly silver bullet, not great ability that you would rather take something else for. Brute Ragers. These dudes. No shirt, but shoes. Okay. Iron Jaws, smarter than Fire Slayers, confirmed. Alright. If you don't wear shirts, you wear big fucking boots and big fucking pants, and then everything looks cool. Literally smarter than Fire Slayers. Imagine if these guys were wearing kilts and had bare feet. It would ruin everything. Smarter than Bone Splitters, well, we knew that. Um, but yeah. Damn, these guys look cool. Nice fucking brute chopper up here. Just swinging a ball and chain mace around. Well, not even a mace, just a ball and chain. Is this a two section club? Damn, that's cool, actually. Dude, I like brute ragers. Or brutes are a boastful bunch. Sometimes even these braggadocious thugs fall foul of their own outlandish claims. When a brute suffers a particularly embarrassing defeat, they may wildly overcompensate by doubling down and becoming even more outrageously arrogant. Discarding most of their armor and grabbing the biggest two-handed weapons they can find so no one could ever accuse them of not being the artist orc around. These guys know what's up. They move with terrifying swiftness despite their size, often surprising the unlucky targets of their latest, most audacious boasts. Terrifying swiftness. Finally. Some good fucking speed that isn't just Gork Gruntas. I like what I'm hearing. Weird Brute Rekkas. Oh, weird brutes, huh? They're starting to mix and match. Yo, look at the definition. Jesus. 1% body fat. Actually dehydrated and dying. But great definition. Cowards can't block warriors. You gotta ask, are you a warrior or a coward? What was the name of that creature? Bold Weir Intimidator, if I do, if I recall correctly. Five red red for a five five giant with cool art from Future Sight. Good reference, Fimon. Damn, I can remember all that at the drop of a hat. And then I meet someone in real life and shake their hand. They tell me their name and it's fucking gone. Explain that. Explain that, atheists. Um, anyway, we got some spinny boys. Are these guys magic? Sometimes an org brute can get so entangled in the anarchic energy of a wa that they go proper wonky and start vomiting green bile. Weird knob shamans hammer gruesome bone and iron masks into the afflicted orc skulls in an attempt to get the wonk out. This is a reference to a story. Uh, I don't know. I heard this. I don't know if it's true. It might be apocryphal about drilling into people's heads to get headaches out. I just I just don't think that was true, but maybe it is. I didn't look it up. This painful medical solution turns them into maniacal killers, known as weird brute wreckers. Those through searing pain, they see the world around them as scorching masses of green flame, and their foes as particularly bright infernos to be extinguished by bone-shattering swings of their massive chain smashes. Dude, this is exactly the second wave that Iron Jaws has been waiting for for five years to make them a downright sick-ass army. Instead of pretty fun to play, but you're just playing Gorgruntas, right? Now, hopefully, we got some variety here. Little Neapolitan. And also, 
hard boys that don't look fucking stupid. I mean, we have touchdown. I've made no secret of it. I've always hated what Ard Boys look like in Iron Jaws. And I know that doesn't matter, because I don't play the army, so what the fuck does my opinion matter? But I've always hated what the Ard Boys look like. So stupid. They look like 40k orcs. Who look stupid, in, in my opinion. Now we got some proper, just big hench looking motherfuckers. For the Hard Boys. So fucking big that's right Arterius. so fucking big thanks for the bits look at this mask dude these masks are so cool actually and we're getting we're getting horns right we're going or tusks i guess we're like doubling down on the pig theme right the hog theme cool looking shield tons of armor sweet masks these shields are clearly meant to be punched with in my opinion. Dude, I really like the masks. It um, really ties the room together. These are like orc terminators. Like, it's so sick. Damn, that's cool. Okay, that's a, that's a lot of sculpts. Be it. Like, that's a lot of customization you get for one squad. Jesus. Also, look at the vascularity. I mean, thanks for the thousand bits, SJ Arcade. I appreciate it. Let's go! <laughs> you think the Black Orcs had the same aesthetic? Well, the Black Orc Big Boss in the Warhammer game does. Oh, okay. I just remember seeing Hard Boys online in real life, and I'm like, I hate this aesthetic for orcs. I don't like it. With the pot bellies and the weird spina bifida and stuff, I always thought it looked really dumb. But, um, you know, sense that doesn't really matter because they don't play the army. It's, it's if the orc players are happy, right? Proper fucking army now. True. Hard boys are terrifying. Arm -oured. Shock troopas. We're more than a match for the elite fighters of other armies. Oh, word for the first time? Even a hardened veteran with an insatiable appetite for violence. Uh, each are. To maintain a veneer of discipline until battle lines are met. At which point they become a mob of braying thugs. Nice. Boot Euro, thanks for the big prime. I appreciate it for four months. Currently on a two-month streak. Of the trunk on them boys, though? Well... The army is all about hogs. I'll let you connect the dots. Um, thanks for the prime. Also, apparently it's September this month. I saw a banner. And so subs are like... I actually can't remember the percent off because I didn't look and I don't want to false advertise. There's some discount with subs. I don't know. But it's not like somebody... Like, if you're already subbed, you're going to resub whenever the thing is over anyway. So I suppose it's like kind of whatever. Um, oh no wait, new subs, yeah. Well, regardless. 25%, okay, I'll, I'll trust chat on that. The heir of the beast has seen our boys take up stickas and make it, uh, which make it a laugh to ward off charges from mighty monsters. More anti-monster? And give them a good poking afterwards. Even their shields are more of a weapon than a defensive tool. A hulking slab of beaten iron covered in tusks and spikes. Yeah, it looks fucking sick. Dude, iron jaws are so cool now. Battle tomes supplement iron jaws. All these units and the Maw Grunta receive rules in the upcoming Dawnbringers 2 Reign of the Glute. Alongside a supremely hog heavy army of renown called the Grunta Stampede. Which is every army from Iron Jaws for the last few years, but still cool. Luckily for lovers of so <laughs> oh, Swall Orcs, I thought they were about to... Never mind. Uh, the might of the Iron Jaws is irrepressible. They've 
busted free from the pages of Reign of the Glute, and are barreling headlong towards release alongside a free online Battle Tome supplement. Free online Battle Tome supplement? Free rules in my game's workshop? Damn. What an age we live in. Mech Rat thinks of the tier 1 for 6 months. What did you miss? Don't worry about it. 48 minutes of pure hog. Um, this will contain the rules for every single new unit shown here in the recently previewed Ardboard Big Boss. Designed to work alongside the Battle Tome. Cool. Quite cool, in fact. So we got Space Marines. And then the Big Trog. This guy's sweet. And then Iron Jaws. Nothing but W's. Holy shit. An entire... Well... I don't know about an entire... No, actually, they really didn't have a lot of kits before. So, I would call this like a second wave of Iron Jaws that they've probably been waiting for for a long time, and it seems to be awesome. Um, and then Space Marines. And then Gut Busters. And fucking football. And the board game. And a lady feet for free? Jesus. And then a big cool looking centerpiece that seems like it's for 40k. I mean 30k. <laughs> I forgot about that. Somebody was telling me about this. This this thing came out and like everyone's like, oh shit. They they looked at the silhouette and they're like, ooh, a giant centerpiece that looks awesome. That's gotta be Age of Sigmar. And then they move the light from behind it to in front of it. And they're like, oh shit, it's for 40k. And then it was like, nope, it's for 30k. And everyone was sad. Someone was probably happy, but... Anyway, we got boys. With great abs. Comes great responsibility. Okay, we got... I'm gonna be honest, kinda dumb looking Slanesh. Nerd Slanesh. Cool legs, actually. I like... That's kind of fun. And then these hooks. The big horseshoe there. Kind of weird face. The compass rose spinner. Oh, just three. Okay. Now, Slanesh continues to not quite hit my fancy. Um, but that's just me. It kind of depends. Hopefully they do a lot better uh, job with this IDK ban, because the first one was bad with only... Um, but only skill at area control. I don't know much about... Underworlds the game, so I'm not I'm not sure what they're what people are wanting. Thriceful Discord are a trio of soul seeking daemons of Slanash who absolutely despise each other. They're constant feuding, a source of irritation to any Hedonite unlucky enough to get involved with them. They've been punished for their endless squabbling by Silask, the vengeful allegiance, and must work together to recover 666 souls from the frozen depths of the Death Gorge as penance. So we got Does this look like like Link proportions? Like Zelda's Link, you know, proportions. Strangely off, maybe. Perhaps it's the angle I'm looking at it. But it, it looks like a, a tiny person, kind of. It's a Tidecaster, it seems. 
I really like the fun, the little jelly friends here. They're really cool. This is, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's all right. It's another, uh, another Tidecaster. <laughs> Those dies, though? Jesus. And then we got a friend. Oh, it's got the triangle eyes. Some of them have that, you know. Good attention to detail. Um, Mr. Wiggly here, putting up the Dukes. Getting ready to fight. That's the fighting, the fighting Irish octopus. You love to see it. Dude, it's gotta be the angle. I bet it's the angle. Or the website. This looks like your 12-year-old son is wearing daddy's armor and it's like way too big for him you know it just it looks like that it looks like this is this is like some young adult warhammer fiction that's wearing their their father's armor or something it's got to be the angle or maybe the compression or something like it might have been scrunched <laughs> the face Okay. Hey, I like what Aiden at Deep can look like, and I like the Big Wiggly, and I like the Jelly Friends. These are all right. They're they're just kind of all right. Last guy actually lifts, kinda, or maybe they just since they all have at least the thralls have like half of a soul, maybe. You know, muscle mass goes first. Oh, there they are fighting. They're fighting! Does your soul even lift? Yeah. And then, my lady. Also, this is pretty... This is a pretty good reveal, man. I'm sad to have missed it. Got a giant, awesome Trogoth. Finally, a humongous monster for that army. Looks fabulous to paint. Very fun. Uh, wonderful sculpt, right? Iron Jaw's second wave, where everything's a banger. And they fixed the Ard Boy problem. And one of the oldest, shittiest sculpts in Ogres actually got a refresh. Which means they haven't forgotten about us. Um, and then some warbands or whatever, but like, this is, this is a pretty good reveal actually for Age of Sigmar. Not bad. But they get to have big meatballs. Yeah, those are, those are monsters. I always wish they juiced them up a little bit more. I suppose there was, they juiced so much up in the new book that I guess they ran out of juice or something like that, but. Um, do I care about the lady? Not really, because I don't care about Old World. I had a chance to play Old World for 30 years, and I chose not to. And I'm not about to start now. <gasps> Never mind, feet? <laughs> Jesus. She should be side saddle with a, with a dress like that. I know this is a unicorn, and a unicorn is a magical creature. And so why am I quibbling about riding with a full dress like that? Because a unicorn is really just a horse cosplaying with a tube on, with a toilet paper tube on its head. But physics still matter. Tell me it's a magic skirt in the description, and I will no longer care. Nice embroidery, though. That's fun. Damn, that square base just, just totally ruins it. But nice and normal. Snap ya. <laughs> yeah, actually a decent attempt at a female face for Games Workshop. Looking like, um... Oh, who's that chick? Couch lips. 
square jaw of played the wicked witch who wasn't invited to the um the ball in Cinderella and the one of the Tim Burton one. I think she was in Gone in 60 Seconds. What's what's that actress? Uh I can't remember. Anyway, looks kind of like her. Yeah, Angelina Jolie, that's it. Sorry, I'm bad with names. Hot's birthings for the uh, tier one for 35 months. Big. Long. Thanks for sticking around and liking my stuff. I appreciate it. Thrumcast get all the horse dong sculpts, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's a... Hey, it's a unicorn. Horns up here. Eyes up here, buddy. You know? Anyway, a nice little fantasy portrayal here, letting the letting the peach color extend a little bit into the fur, right? And then you got old version and really old version. I assume that this is the oldest one. It's hard to tell. You know what, chat? Like, we look at this and we're like, damn, this is stupid, right? This looks so bad. Someday, in 20 years, you will look at this, and you'll be like, damn, that looks so bad. This is so shit. How did anyone like this? And nothing will have changed but the date. Yeah, it's not even a hologram. And what the fuck is with that square base? Now go to Fulgrim. I'll go to Fulgrim. I'll go to 40k stuff that looks cool. I'm not above it. You had to push it to move. It didn't just walk. Now people will be like, you mean people used to play this in real life, not just download it? And play digital Warhammer tabletop simulator, the video game where you type in an AI prompt and it just paints your army? You're like, oh, I want my army painted in Sergio style. Enter, and it just does. Yo, look at my... <laughs> the vaulted ceilings, the wingspan on this. Holy shit. A little bit of Marathi going on here. This is sweet. The wings are... I'm gonna be a little critical here. The wings are just alright. I don't... I don't love the giant blood vessels, the thick giant blood vessels, and sort of nothing going on in the middle here. It, it looks a little thick and strange. I, I would have preferred feather texture for sure. But, but it's nice. It's nice. Imagine transporting him. Look, I play Age of Sigmar. And so when you're transporting an Age of Sigmar army, at least in my experience, you use like a, a bin and there's no fucking way you're going to put a top on that. You just can't. Maybe if I get a really big one or something, but... This miniature is utterly stunning in its detail. I don't think so. It's alright. I mean, the Trog probably has more detail at a better resolution, seems like. These veins are a little weird. Yeah, look at it really close. It's, I don't know, it's okay. I wouldn't call it stunning. It's quite nice. It's just, is this thing made out of resin or something? Like, what's the problem? Um, if you ever wondered how Fulgrim could be described as both breathtakingly beautiful and monstrously serpentine, wonder no more. It's enough to make you consider a career as a Slaneshi cultist. His coiled body and epic wingspan. 
make Fulgrim transfigured easily the largest Primarch in the Horus Heresy range, dwarfing his lesser brothers with sheer demonic power. Only the second Primarch to receive a second model alongside Horus ascended. The Phoenician is a new watermark for awe-inspiring resin miniatures. There it is. As I suspected. Well, if they were working with resin, this is very nice. Forge World Resin. Mm. I don't know. Has Forge World Resin improved? I have personal experience with Forge World Resin from a long time ago. And then I just never went back. I'm like, nope, this is shit. This company is shit. I'm out. But was I being too judgmental and like they're better now? It's pure resin, so it's better than fine cast. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't, I would not compare fine cast with Forge World resin. But it seemed to me that resin was just like shittier than plastic. What's the what's the issue? Like for Age of Sigmar, they release sculpts in plastic, and I don't have a lot of experience with modeling all sorts of stuff. I mostly just stick to Games Workshop, and so it seems to me that plastic is just based. Like it's great. The brand new AOS plastic is just good, and then if I'm moving to resin, it feels like I'm downgrading. So why do they use it? Is it cheaper? Maybe? Vin said that the Horus Ascendant was one of the best resin sculpts he's worked on to this day. Oh, maybe they improved it for the brand new ones. Plastic models are more expensive. Okay. Generally old plastic is shittier than resin. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, you know, the G.I. Joe army figures from a million years ago and stuff, sure. Making the steel molds for plastic is very expensive, so they need to know they will sell enough to make the cost worthwhile. I heard... I heard that... Including the R&D... To make a steel mold for a plastic kit for GW is several million dollars. So, I believe that. And whenever you go to one of those third-party websites for models, it's always resin, and the quality is always really bad. So, I think I'm ready to believe that plastic is just an order of magnitude more expensive. It's like 250k for the plastic mold or something, or 500k. I heard several million, but... What I heard, the person was accounting for all of their R&D. Like, you know, they rent, they, this actually happened. They like rent supercomputers and then do um, like physics calculations for, okay, when you, when you put the molten plastic into the mold, where does everything go so that there won't be any air bubbles and we'll do all the math and stuff like that. So they, they were probably factoring that kind of stuff in as well, I bet. Fluid dynamics is apparently big boy math. I'm not a math person, but um, I used to know a guy who was a math major, and he said that fluid dynamics was big boy math, and I just believed him. Ahem. Bandai Namco do that with multicolor plastic on the same sprue. It's madness. Yeah. Plastic Darren Darrow. Well, let's keep it clean in here. Anyway, this was a great... This was actually a pretty great reveal. I'm sad to have missed it. Because I don't want to be Mr. Negative, but... Um, this was kind of like home run after home run. These space marines were not interesting at all. Um, but this dude is great. 
this shit is all great and it's a bunch of them and it's the second half of one of the smallest model lines for armies in the whole game it's like iron jaws and fire slayers were two of the tiniest model lines and so when any army like that gets a second wave i'm looking i'm thinking about fire slayers i'm thinking about arguably ko um i'm thinking about flesh eater courts you know when any one of those gets like the second half of their releases it's a it's a big w and then there's a big robo and an old dumb looking guy this was cool for gutbuster players fucking football yeah good reveal five out of seven Who needs to be interesting when you look awesome? True, I guess. You're right. Space Marines really needed that second wave. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know much about Space Marine releases and what all their models are. Um, supposedly, whenever they release Space Marine anything, all sorts of people complain about it, and then like a million people buy it. So, hey, follow the money. The money talks. It tells them what to do. Did they just squat half the marine stuff? No? Oh, did they? Out with the old, in with the new? like how the guys in studio clearly wanted to go home, so they sped up the stream. Compare the new sculpts versus the old ones. I'm sure the old ones look worse than the new ones, right? And you'll see why. Oh, is it... Look, I've seen the last time you guys had me go to the 40k page. We looked at some Eldar stuff that I was... I got secondhand embarrassment that it was still sold, right? It reminded me of Skaven. It was like that old and bad, so... Um, this isn't an AOS versus 40k thing. Both games clearly suffer from... Uh, they will sell this stuff until the molds break and uh, collapse into dust, apparently. They murdered a lot of manlit marines. <laughs> The new Terminator captain looks more like a sergeant. The guy doesn't even have a cape or adornment. Like the Leviathan box Terminator captain. Which one's the... Well, technically this is the biggest, so this must be the... The Terminator captain. I don't like him. Yeah, I don't... I don't really like them. This is my problem. This isn't their problem. I don't like their helmets. I don't like the weird thighs. With the stuff. With the um, PVC piping through it. I don't like their rounded shoulders or the weird box thing behind their head. I don't like how their guns are small. You're wearing huge armor so that you can use huger guns and they're using pretty small guns, one-handed. This guy's all right. Mm, I don't like their big fists. Some of them have tiny fists and others have big fists. I don't think I like it. Yeah, maybe Space Marines are just not for me. Or at least Terminators, I'm not a fan. Coming in as, a, as an outsider, just looking in. I don't think I like it. Excuse me, sir, those are power fists. Yeah. I'm just gonna chalk this up to I'm the weird one. But power fists are like an incredibly stupid idea. And they look dumb. It's just the big cartoon, like, inflatable Hulk fist that you buy for your kid at Toys R Us. Like, it's so stupid. Uh, but... I don't know. The the people probably like it, and I'm wrong. Mm. 
the Nintendo Power Glove is the only fist you recognize. True. He's never experienced the joy of Hulk hands. Give the man a break. Hulk hands came out probably after my time as being a, as being a kid. It falls into everything else in 40k is about as stupid, so why not? True, I mean, it's an over-the-top, it's supposed to be silly. It's supposed to be so over-the-top that it is silly. I guess sometimes it lands for me and sometimes it doesn't land for me, which is fine. I guess it's, it's fairly pedestrian as far as over-the-top is concerned. Maybe that's my problem with it. Maybe that's my fucking problem with it. For instance, if we're going to do over the top, like this dude is awesome, right? Right here. These claws are unbelievably stupid. It looks like a toy, right? If we're going to have big fists, look at these dudes. Okay, here, you got me. These guys are so sick. These are like Terminators, except they're like... I want you to reimagine a Terminator, except looking cool instead of stupid. And it's these guys. So, like, these guys hit. These guys are dumb. <laughs> it's so edgy. <laughs> Where's the other guys? The preposterously huge guys that look like they can't even walk? I like those guys. Uh, where are they? The dudes who, who just couldn't move under their own power. Uh... Yes. Let's go. These guys? I'm in. 100%. Love it. Um. So far it's just those two though. Everybody else is tiny and skinny. And not cool. Wasn't there a squad that just came out with really stupidly huge guns? I like that squad too. Everybody made fun of it. Because they had, like, shotgun rocket launchers or something, and everyone memed on it. And I'm like, what are you, what are you guys doing? This is cool. Maybe they don't have them here. Yeah, I guess they're not on this page. But. Everyone hates them now because they're overpowered. Oh. Take a chill pill, Jesus Christ. Anyway. I don't like this because they look like they're reclining, and when you put stuff here when jetpacks, they kind of look like babies. They look like they're in a little baby carrier that's invisible or something. I don't like those. Chaplin on the bike, your, <laughs> your painter saint. He's about to totally shoot some guy. Good facial expression, too. But this shit is like... We forced our artists to play Kawa Duty space warfare for 70,000 hours and their brains melted and they forgot the concept of what could look cool and then we forced them to design new space marines and it looks it looks garbage it just looks like modern warfare uh strongly dislike and this shit too Ugh. um i can't be too judgmental because i don't play the game but you know there it is as my hot takes, I guess. You have to be bald to be in that group of skinny boys. Sure. Tactic cool space marines. I like the normal boring space marines more than the ones that look like they're from Call of Duty. I, I actually strongly dislike those. Is it because I dislike Call of Duty? No, no, it's the children who are wrong. I think it's both. You can't see the old scouts on the page of that dude. No, I was looking for dudes with big hands that I thought looked cool. Uh, to contrast it with the dudes with big hands that I thought didn't look cool. The new Terminators. So... That's why I did. Well, technically, this is a big robo. I guess I could look at it. Dumb. 
Uh, dumb. Yeah, 30k is not for me. Did we go over the Maiden for free? Oh, we did. We inhaled all of the information that we could muster. And, uh, respectfully observed all of the model's extremities. Pickle Hauba. <laughs> Peepo Feedward. The fuck? The person in Discord, I can't remember who it was, that had that emote. Man, if only I could remember who was the instigator of that emote. The one where Peepo's tongue is hand animated to just be wiggling all over some fucking foot. And a whole bunch of people clicked on it. Fucking degenerates, let me tell you what. Curious about the size of the kit for the gorgers in terms of model count? Um, let's click on it. Because they will show all of them in the swirly whirly here. One, two, three, four, five. There are five. Five man unit. That's a proper unit size for Age of Sigmar. No more buying one model for 90 points and stuff like this. So, not bad, not bad so far. Legit, those irons, iron jaws got you looking at them funny. Fire Slayer's a wish. Dude, those iron jaws are looking good. Did Big Pig get a release date? Let's click. Probably at the bottom, right? All these units will receive rules in the upcoming Dongbringers 2. No date, but it seems like it's going to coincide with Dongbringers 2. Yeah, also free PDF rules. The rules are no longer shackled to the book. And this is probably an experiment on Games Workshop's end. Because in your head, right, they're going to come out with Dongbringers 2 that has rules in it. And in your head, if they gave you the rules in that book for free, how much would it hurt the sales of Dawnbringers 2? Because a lot of people probably buy those books for just rules, for the most part. And maybe that's a good experiment to test the data on. I bet it's less than people think. Because they're surrounded probably by people who play the game and never buy anything if they can help it, right? But that's like their, their aura they're in. Dongbringers 2 sounds like a porno. It is. I edited for it. Um, but now, it's an Age of Sigmar campaign. You too can get the rules for free for. You're thinking about jumping on in on Iron Jaws after this and your buddy was at Nova and started building Iron Jaws while you were pondering? Oh man, the early bird. You think next week will be the Marines and the week after, now that the Tyranids are out? Gotta finish the 10th edition. Oh yeah, true, they gotta finish the rollout. That takes precedence, I, I should think. There's some scuttlebutt around the place. That IJ releases a year late and they didn't know what to do with the rules, so they just went for free? Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. I choose to believe this source, because it really doesn't matter. That's an interesting tinfoil hat. <laughs> it came to me in a dream, that's how you... Give a wizard a keyword? Anyway, um... They think they can't release both things at once. Not everyone's in both game systems. True, but I bet there's enough overlap that... Okay, from a company standpoint, it's better to release product one, month one, and product two, month three, then product one and two, month one. Because you sort of always want to be doing something, I bet. I don't know. I'm not good at the economy. 
but in my head it kind of makes sense. You want to always be selling something and kind of always have people excited for the new thing coming out always. And if you're just like slumbering and then you crawl out of your cave every year and just dump like Christmas presents on everyone and recede, people probably end up buying less. But I don't know, I, I can't into business very well. I don't even have sponsors for my streams. I don't even have that G Fuel, what, the, what is that shit called? Uh, that, the fucking juice slime that all the streamers get when they become partnered. Um, and they get like titty milk flavor. Yeah, gamer subs, that's it, yeah. I shouldn't, I shouldn't shit talk them. Because if gamer subs came to me with a sponsorship, fucking sold. You kidding me? The more sponsors I get for the stream, the less editing projects I have to do, and the more YouTube videos I can work on. Hey, <laughs> remember free? Would your flavor be... I thought you said big fart, and I was about to say no. Would your flavor be big flat? I don't know what my flavor would be. I can't expect everyone to know the inside joke. And so you look at Big Flat if you don't know the meme, and that just sounds gross. So I would probably, I would have to find something funny that was like evergreen funny, but then with a secret extra meaning for the people in the know. The ultimate stealth thing, in other words. Kidney stone generator. Shy Lily Gamer ups. Big cream. I think... Any Macho Man stuff is, uh, kind of, probably copyrighted as a likeness. There's a dude who named his guacamole Gamer Fart, and the inside joke is he wanted to name it the dumbest thing possible. Well, he succeeded. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to get a drink, and then we will proceed with content, phase two. I have in my possession magic cards designed for the faction leaders of Age of Sigmar. Because Wizards of the Coast didn't do that for us. They did it for 40k, but not, not for us. And so, I'm making some commanders out of Age of Sigmar dudes, and I made like 12 of them. Let me show you it. And then we can brainstorm about future ones, or um, I almost started doing a Lord Croak one, but then I couldn't think of what to do for it and so on, and we can discuss all sorts of different color identities. God damn, the nerdery. BRB.